Hey guys, I hope you're all well. This video is me showing you my travel journal that I did in Aegina, Greece, which is a little island off of Athens that I went to. And yeah, it was really good fun. So this is my new book I bought. The quick flick for you. You've got all these nice plain pages and then you've got like line pages in there as well. And then you've also got these sort of like little card holdy things which I'm planning on putting my VidCon uh, business cards that people gave me in there and then I've got a little pocket here as well and it also came with some stamps which I don't have with me at the minute it's really cute and I will link it down below, it was from Amazon paper's not the best, as you might be able to see there is actually tape at the bottom but oh well, it's, it's, it's held up pretty, pretty alright I stayed in a place called Kino Castro in E Gina in A Gina. I know a lot of Ginas, and it was really lovely. The place doesn't have an airport, so you have to fly out to Athens and then travel by a boat. So it is kind of very quiet, and most of the tourists there are actually Greek themselves. And I've just really wanted to travel journal for a while. I wanted to do Amsterdam and stuff like that, and I like doing like layouts and places so I'm planning on this book being like a travel journal solidly so this is sort of my first ever attempt of it and the page did rip at the bottom which upset me a bit but it's okay actually and it does give it like a finished effect so I went from the 4th of August to the 18th of August and this is the layout of the room I stayed in we stayed in a villa there was 16 of us in total I went with my partner's family and it was a really really lovely little villa it was like our little building on the side and then you had like a little tower thing with a windmill and then you had like buildings for kitchens and stuff and it was really lovely anyway so you had like little pathways so you went into like this bit and it was this is all still outside and there was like a little like tree on the side of it and he went into this and it was sort of like a communal area and then you have like a little kitchen on the side here had granny's room here and she's not my granny but she's well that's what we all call her and um yeah so those were like two single beds and then you had me and ashton's room here which is really lovely we had a little fireplace here and i thought this window went into their room so i was like oh got a window into your room and they're like i can't see that window and then i opened it and realized it was like it went around I thought this was up more and then we had our weird little bathroom which was covered in like the same tiles so it kind of was a bit like Whoop. but it, it was really lovely and yeah you had Andrew and Michelle's room there which was pretty much the same as ours but yeah it's just nice to remember what things sort of look like in the placement of everywhere we then had the windmill the windmill was really nice, we used to sit up here and watch the sunset and it was just really beautiful. It doesn't actually have the propeller things on it anymore, it's just really a tower, but it had the, like the weirdest stairs to go up, it, it was like, oh we should have drinks up there and then you went up the stairs and you're like, uh, maybe not. <laughs> and it had like a little kitchen up here and then like a little seating area down here and it was really lovely. And then this sort of roof part was the roof of some of the other rooms you could stay in as well so this was kind of raised and you walked up to it and then there was I think a total of three rooms that were kind of like curved so that was quite cool and then we have the animals of Agena which I will explain while I'm painting it because I didn't actually finish the whole thing while on holiday so I've continued with it on at home so I will be painting it for you guys and you'll see what happens there. There were some amazing animals in Aegina, very classic sort of Greek sort of island so basically what you'd find in most other Greek places. There were stray cats everywhere as you can see at the bottom of this picture and I really love that and then there was the dogs so there was the two dogs and one was a German Shepherd and the other was a Belgian Shepherd and that was the owner's dog so the owner had a house on the side of the villa so they were guard dogs but they were so loving like if you saw them at night so we only saw them through the fence we have stroked them and stuff like that 
but we would mostly see them through the fence and we'd stroke them in the day and stuff but at night I think they didn't really know who we were so I kind of stayed away from that one didn't want my arm chewed off we'd just be in the pool or you know lounging by the side and there would just be dragonflies flying over and it, it was so beautiful I love dragonflies I think they're great creatures and they're just really gorgeous so it was really nice seeing them sort of land by the pool and seeing them fly over. Geckos of course are adorable and so nice to see. We were all like, oh look at it, like when we were sitting, because we used to sit outside and where the lights were, the geckos used to be and it was really nice just kind of seeing them in the corner of your eye. Was, oh, I loved it. Loved, loved, loved it. Duna is quite a big island, sort of. And then next to it was a tiny little island that is a reserve for deer, goats, which we never saw, and peacocks, funny enough. So we went there and it was really lovely. There's only like a bunch and that is literally it on the whole island. It was so lovely. We went there twice. We went there for a day trip, just there, and then on our boat trip all around the islands, we popped there as well. And we went around the other side, which you can't get to via foot. And we went swam into a cave, which I did my first ever snorkeling, so that was really cool. And the cave was called Sleeping Seal, because sometimes they find a seal sleeping in there, sadly we did not see the seal. The black things are the sea urchins. I love sea urchins, I think they're amazing. Obviously do not touch them. We actually, I tried sea urchin, which I feel awful saying, because I love them so much, but... You know, when the opportunity's there, I, I felt like I couldn't say no. And they really remind me of soot spirits as well. We saw peacocks as well, and they were just so cool to see real life, like, ones in the wild. And the deer were so friendly and lovely and close too. Overall, it was a really beautiful island. I hope you enjoyed this video. i sorry it came up a week late. I was ill. A week ago and then this week I've also been ill so I'm very sorry I will hopefully be back to a normal schedule now as long as my health keeps up I hope you're all doing well and I will see you guys in the next video I love you bye